Well, one thing you don't plan on when you're doing a, a live taped video for YouTube is how you're going to do the introduction. So, hi, I'm Queen Catherine, also known as Artistic Insanity, and today we're going to make lip balm. Here are the list of your supplies that you'll need. And in just a second, I'm going to turn it over to the live, the live, the live stream. Here we go. Hello, stupendous creatives. It's Rebecca and Catherine. My daughter is Rebecca. And we are getting ready to show you how to make lip balm. We are actually going to make... What kind of lip balm is this, Becca? I don't know either. But it's going to be pretty and it's going to taste good. So we everything we have is from Brambleberry. We're going to start with the lip balm base. And then we also have Lip Smacking Sweet, which is the flavor, and Coconut, which is the other flavor we're going to use. Or maybe it's the scent. I guess it's the scent. And then Raspberry Mica for the color. So the first thing we need to do... This is probably not the ideal scooper. You want to get a knife, please? We're going to scoop out the lip balm base into our heat safe container. Maybe. Holy cow. Becca, that's really in there. There you go. Sure. Holy cow. Becca, this is really hard. Help me. No, there's still more. I'm not getting this out very well. Okay. So, I guess we have most of the lip balm base. Effectively. Effectively? Effectively got it out. Not really. But no one was injured in the process, so we're doing well. Alright, so we're going to heat this in 30 second bursts, Rebecca. And we're back after having melted down the lip balm base that actually took three cycles mm -hmm. of 30 seconds. And you can see that it's completely liquefied. So the next thing we're going to do is we want to add two mls of the sweetener so the lip smacking sweet and this is a three ml dropper so we want to do it to about there doesn't seem like very much does it mm -mm. and then rebecca's going to do four mls of the flavor oil, which is coconut. And then we need to do an eighth of a teaspoon of the raspberry mica. And I only have a quarter teaspoon, so we'll do about half of this. That's the smallest these measuring spoons go. And I, this is my set for crafting. So I don't use my regular measuring spoons when I do art. These are my soap making measuring spoons. So we're gonna stir this up. It smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. 
and we actually have the tubes already done and they just pop into the tray into the frame so all we're gonna do is move stuff out of the way thanks really hope that wasn't there okay and we're just gonna pour this into the little chapstick tubes and there's actually a scraper that goes with this kit so when you make a mess and you spill your lip balm stuff all over the place like that you can just use the scraper scrape it all up when it's cooled and dry and then whoa and then remelt it in the microwave and actually fill up the rest of your trays. Boy, I was doing good at first. <laughs> it smells like coconut. We may. We still have some left. Uh oh. We need more tubies. And we have some more. How many you think? Um, I don't know. Eight. <laughs> Eight? Eight? Six. Sixty-four. I think that's the Sixty-four. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, go with sixty-four. Okay. I don't think we have any more than this. You don't have the chapstick wipes. This is true. <laughs> Good thing we had extra tubes. Wow. It needs to be reheated again, but let's just wait and do it after we scrape. Okay. So we'll be back in a few minutes after this hardens. It doesn't take long, but after this hardens, we'll come back and show you how to scrape it, and then we'll remelt what's left in the measuring cup and see if we can get another tube out of what we scrape off. And we're back. I think that things have cooled off enough that we can go ahead and scrape them. So, Beck, why don't you go ahead and scrape? Thanks to my fine handiwork. Alright, so we're going to put this back in the microwave for probably 30 more seconds and then we will come back with filling them the rest of the way up. And we're back with the melted, we remelted the chapstick or the lip balm that we had before and we're just going to finish up these last couple of tubes. Becca moves into her first apartment tomorrow. Woo! I'm going to be very sad without her around here. I don't know what I'm going to do. You're just happy I won't do dishes in the sink anymore. <laughs> well, there's always that. I wasn't going to say that out loud. So there, that's it. We didn't quite fill up this tube, but we'll just keep that and 
Becca or I will use it. Um, when these are finished cooling, um, all we have to do is pop them out of the tray and put our lids on each tube and then put labels on them and we're finished. And that's how you make lip balm. Thanks, Becca, for hoping. You're welcome. All right, tune in next Sunday for the next video. Thanks for watching. I hope you take care, be safe, and stay healthy. And I will see you soon. Bye. I hope you enjoyed our lip balm making tutorial. Here's the blooper I found when I went to edit the video. I turned my back for two seconds. Two seconds to operate the microwave. And look what I found Rebecca was doing. <laughs> I hope that gave you some laughs. If you're looking for another great video to watch, please be sure to check out the two that are on your screen right now. I hope to see you in the next video. Take good care of yourself. I'll see you soon. Bye.